Hey guys, Michael here with Hello Cupcake It's Me, and today is the Saturday check-in. Um, so, where to begin? Um, I know that I did the quick and dirty video um, on Wednesday or whatever, and I'm sorry guys, I have been extremely depressed lately, and... Um, it it was not a good time um i'm starting to notice that my depression is getting worse uh when it finally does come on it's like end of the world type worse and uh, like for almost two and a half weeks i was just the most miserable piece of shit ever and um, I didn't really understand what was going on or why I was st starting to feel that way. And then um, I realized that it was coming up on my father's birthday and he passed away seven years ago. And um, on top of that, there was a bunch of other like personal stuff that had happened uh, there was a miscommunication between me and, um, one of the local businesses that, uh, has really put me in a bad position with, um, certain things and yeah, just everything falling into my, on my lap all at once. And it just, it's been shitty. Uh, haven't been suicidal but the depression was like to the point where I just told my friends and family listen if you don't hear from me for a few days um, just know that I'm okay but I'm probably going to be ghosting for a little while um, I'll try to post something once a day on Facebook just so you guys can see that I'm okay or whatever but um yeah, if I don't answer your phone call or whatever, just know that I see it and I may get back to you. I I may not. And so, um yeah, and that's that's new for me because usually I'm the first person to pick up the phone like I know what it's like to need to talk to somebody and them not be there. So that really kind of worried a lot of people in my life. And I was just like, you know, guys, I I'm sorry, but I'm not strong enough to handle everyone else's shit, let alone mine right now. So in, s in fear of me saying something that would damage our friendship or whatever, let me just not. Um, so yeah, there's all that. Um, I just got back from my walk, right? Um, like literally as soon as I turned this video on, I had just walked in the door and, um, so I'm still kind of scatterbrained and got that like runner's high or whatever they call it. Even though I wasn't running, um, you still get this kind of lightheaded endorphin thing happening, but, um, yeah, so it was so bad that I didn't even want to go on my walk. And as we all know, I've been struggling with doing my walks anyways. So the depression lingering in my head telling me, oh, you're not doing anything. It's not worth it. Fuck it. Just go back to the way you were and all this other stuff. It was just like... I can't listen to you right now. I've at least got to go out and walk walk around the block or something because if I allow myself to fall back into those patterns, I'm going to end up dying. Not that I'm not going to die already, but um, it, it's gonna be easy for me to balloon back up to 500 plus pounds and have all the medical issues that I started having back then 
back then, like it was so long ago, but back in March and prior, like I was having heart palpitations all the time. I had shortness of breath. I couldn't even walk out to the mailbox and back without my back hurting to the point where I was in so much pain that all I wanted to do was take a handful of pills to make the pain go away. Um, my legs were constantly sore and swollen and b just not good. I mean, yeah, my back still hurts and I still do have to take pain medication for it and my feet do swell up and my legs do hurt, but it's not from just walking from the bedroom to the kitchen or going to the bathroom or whatever. This is because I'm actually getting out and being active. Um, but I have kind of hit a plateau now. Um, a while back ago, I was all the way down to 462. Then I ballooned back up to 470, 470, 472. Um, on Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember which one it was now. Um, but when I went in for my weigh-in, I was at 468. And that kind of pissed me off. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, well, you know, you have been depressed and you have been eating and doing stuff that you're not supposed to do. You really need to get back on it, Michael. You need, you know what you need to do. You know what worked for you in the past, blah, 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 blah. So me yelling at myself on top of the depression and the anxiety and the bipolar and the blah, 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 blah. It was really bad. And so I have to learn not to attack myself and not to listen to those dark voices in my head. Um, but just in the week that I have kind of taken off doing stuff, well, the week and a half, two weeks, I've noticed like this morning I woke up kind of like with clear eyes and I looked around my house, I was like, Jesus Christ, Michael, no. Because, like, I have probably 15 boxes on my couch, which is right here. And it looks like freaking Box m Mountain or whatever. I have a bunch of crap along the floor here that's just boxes and stuff. And then um, more boxes over here. I got really manic and I went on a, sh a shopping spree to the best of my ability and ended up fucking myself up in so I'm not too happy about that either and a lot of the stuff that I got was stuff that I can't return yay me so um all else fails you know once I actually look through the stuff that I bought it might be might be things that I can give away for Christmas since Christmas is knocking on our door. Um, I know that it's only like September 12th or whatever, but still, you know, we're in the holiday season. The other thing that I had to start doing is I have, I had to start wearing a brace. Um, this isn't as hardcore as the other carpal tunnel brace that I have and I think I may have um, shown you in one of the videos when I got it but um, m this whole arm is just jacked up I think it's my shoulder that's causing everything that happened but um, when I turn my arm to the side like this all right here hurts like I can I can just run my fingers along right here and it hurts. Um, my hand has been going numb and going to sleep and being very cold and everything lately. So I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and uh, get a carpal tunnel brace because I know that that was one of the things that my, when I went in for the carpal tunnel test, they said that my right hand has mild carpal tunnel and my left hand has more severe carpal tunnel. I was like, well, yay me. Um, so I got a couple of braces just to see if it helps. And um, it has been helping. 
but it hurts really bad like right where this ring goes even on my other brace like this whole area right here gets to hurting so freaking bad and i don't know if that's because it's too tight or if it's because the um it's working i i just don't know um so i have a doctor's appointment coming up on the 23rd that i'm gonna go to and tell them listen <laughs> This is what's going on. Don't know what to do. You know, mazel tov. So, yeah. There's just a bunch of crap. And... Yesterday and today... Well, so far today, I feel a lot better than what I have. But I'm still not 100% like yippee skippy. And um, if you live anywhere on the West Coast here in the United States you are under like a constant cloud of smoke from all the fires that are going on so you know it's a beautiful shade of apocalypse outside right now it looks like it's 6 30 7 o'clock at night with fog rolling in um so yeah it's only supposed to get colder over the next couple of days because of the sun being blotted out um, I'm like, yay, 2020, uh, what else can you throw at us? Not really, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, anyways, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm still trying my best. I'm just going through a lot of shit right now, and I'm sorry that some of the videos have been, um, out of se sequence, are being posted, or not being posted, um, that's what's going on i'm just really not in that great of a place right now and i'm trying to get everything situated and back up and going and just getting myself sorted out so um anyways i'm gonna go ahead and uh go for now but you guys know the drill questions comments concerns put them in the comment section down below if you'd like to get a hold of me, you can send me an email, hellocupcakeitsme at gmail.com. You can also follow me on social media, Hello Cupcake, the number four and the letter U is my Twitter handler. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I post pretty much daily um, stuff that I don't post anywhere else, and that's uh, Michael Scott Peterson, S-O-N, not S-E-N, and... Uh, of course, you can always go over to the blog, hellocupcakeitsme.com. I always post stuff there that I don't post anywhere else. And um, also follow along and join up the fa the Facebook uh, friends group. And look for that in the um, show notes down below. And as always, thank you so very much for all your thoughts and well wishes and support and i will talk to you all later bye guys